of Niger. And I want to talk about Northern Nigeria. Only one in four girls will finish a course of secondary schooling. Rape is on the increase, all parts of Nigeria, but especially in the context of children who, like His Excellency Governor Faimi said, are breadwinners because of the economic dimension. They are more vulnerable because they are hawking when they should be in school, learning to become like the 25 superstars, first ladies we have today. al Almajiranchi is also a very big issue in northern Nigeria. Boys are sodomized, girls are raped. This is a serious phenomenon in northern Nigeria where 10 million children are out of school and they're very vulnerable. Your Excellency, sir, I know you have three minutes, but if you were to give us an elevator speech of what the North intends to do about creating safe spaces for girls and boys and women, what would it be, sir? You have the floor. Thank, th thank you very much, um, Your Excellency, my chair, Governor Faimi, and Your Excellency, the chair of uh, Nigerian Governors Forum's Wife Association, my colleagues. Uh, I mean, my, the speakers before me spoke very well, uh, some of which will address what you said. I 100% agree with what uh, Governor Faimi said. Uh, we are in the process of doing uh, virtually everything he mentioned with regards to the laws and what have you. My friend from Kogi, I think uh, we're also on the same page but one. I don't have a female ADC, but I have a, I have a woman head of service. Excellent that would uh, placing women in, and a woman chief judge, that's right. So placing women in uh, sensitive positions will ensure that they take this matter seriously and uh, fight for the rights or causes of women. And uh, my friend from uh, Ondo, I also mentioned the legal framework, which is very important, but somehow I found out enforcement is always an issue. Most of the courts are overwhelmed. Uh, we, we find it very difficult in these days to uh, get someone convicted of crimes, heinous crimes like uh, what, you just, what you just mentioned. But with regards to al Majiranchi and what you said earlier on in, in uh, in the northern parts of the country, I think one thing I haven't had is the issue of sensitization. Uh, the centre were able to do it, but one thing I realised, working with the traditional rulers, uh, like in my state we have the Imams Forum, working with the Imams Forum, because the problem is most of the cases we get are from urban centres. We don't get much cases from rural areas. Not that they don't exist, but out of fear of stigmatisation. So, um, because of our religious and cultural uh, inclinations, uh, some of these cases go unreported in the rural areas. But I think the first thing to be done is to, is to make sure that um, we educate our people. Now, with regards to al Majiranchi, recently what we have done is to work with, uh, with some scholars, Islamic scholars, and we have started uh, the first school of combining both Islamic and uh, Western education to see how it works. So we are adjusting the curriculum so that uh, once you go to your primary school, you're able to do your uh, Islamic uh, studies at the same time. So we're at the moment banning all these al Majrai and all these uh, local schools. But again, because it's, it's a culture that has been developed for hundreds of years, you have to take it one pace at a time. But we have, a, we, have a, we have a committee to look at uh, JBVs and most of these, uh, we have child rights acts and what have you, being chaired by the first lady of Niger, who happens to be my wife, she's over there. Uh, and I think she's, do, she's, doing a nice, she's doing a nice job. I must Better confess. Nice, Your yes. Nice. Yes, because we have made, uh, we have made a lot of arrests in these cases. We've, have, we've had probably 78 or 9 convictions but for me um, you can have the laws you can have the referral centers mm. but once you start getting 
you are served in a situation where you use the law or the referral center, it means it has already happened. Hmm. And you don't want it to happen. So you have to prevent it. You have to do whatever you can to prevent it. You don't want a solution after it has happened. Absolutely. So I strongly believe uh, sensitization is very is key. I strongly believe um, educating our people is important. Thank you. Uh, I strongly believe making sure that uh, girls go to school is really important because we've had cases where parents give out their daughters the marriage at the ages of 12, 13. I think we've made about 15 arrests on that too. Thank you. So um, uh, for me, I think sensitization, education are key in this fight. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much for bringing data into the room. My colleagues, Governor.